Well, hello there, and welcome back to the vlogs. We're up and at it already. Uh, Sierra got up early this morning to go watch the sunrise with uh, her senior class or with some senior friends. Um, traditional thing that seniors do. Learned all these new things now that she's a senior. Um, so she got up early this morning to watch the sunrise. And, uh, and Tiffany is off on some Instacarting. She got some early morning uh, batches, and so she's running shit off on that, loving that. So I'll be taking Bryce to school today. Um, I just went to the gym, did my back, back and biceps today. Uh, today was, a, today was a, all about pulling, and so uh, my arms are definitely fatigued. I still, felt, feel, still feel my chest sore from Monday. Didn't go to the gym yesterday. Uh, I had a meeting early in the morning and just didn't work out. I slept in, guess I need more sleep. I'm being more mindful of my sleep. I'm using this, this app, um, tracking my sleep, or wearing my watch during my, during my sleep. And so I'm being more mindful of making sure I'm getting good sleep. Cause like, it's one of those things where you go to bed at a certain time and you get out of bed at a certain time. And so in your brain, you're like, oh, I got seven, eight hours of sleep. But when reality, you were in bed for those hours, but you weren't actually sleeping and you weren't actually getting good sleep. So it's very fascinating. Uh, when you actually are tracking your sleep, and I'm sure, you, I'm sure there's better devices and better apps, and but you know I'm just kind of tipping my toes in the in the pool there. But uh, it's really fascinating to see like when you're in deep sleep, based on your like uh, your heart rate and your uh, breathing, and then how many times you actually move, right? Because it detects movement on the watch, and so it's like you move this many times. You know, two in the morning, I rolled around. It's like whoa, like it's it's pretty fascinating. But anyway, so I'm trying to be more mindful of my sleep, and it's like there's days where it's like you need to go to bed at 9 p.m. And that's when I'm like, you're crazy. But it's like, if you want to catch up on your sleep, you need to go to 9 p.m. I'm like, so, you know, there's been a couple nights where I've gone to bed early, 10.30, 10 and 15, maybe. So, anyway, we're gonna make some coffee. And for pour over, they said medium, medium grind, which medium, I'm assuming is in the middle, drip coffee. We also have settings for espresso, French press, percolator. So we're gonna go with drip. Oh, it's clean. I like it. All right, we got 28 grams of coffee grounds. We Tear the scale again, go back to zero. Let that bloom. Give it a little stir. Get all the grinds wet. And we're shooting for 420, 15 to one ratio. So we're just gonna pour this in, swirl it. And there we go. We're getting some coffee. That's satisfying. Oh yeah. And it fits in the King's Coast mug perfectly. Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo. Heck yeah. So when I make a normal cup of coffee, and technically on the, on the Philips, it's like an extra large. Like it's, a, it's on the large setting. It, does, it only fits like half of this cup, right? Like this is obviously a larger coffee mug. A lot of people would argue this is the, this is the correct size, right? All right, put a photo up on Twitter, and I did a video uh, for my super followers over on Twitter, I now have super followers. So I think I set it for $2.99. It's not quite the $4.99 subscription model that most places have. I fear it's Twitter, uh, you know, little behind the scenes extra photos, kind of like what I do on YouTube. I'll put photos, behind the scenes photos and posts. I wish I could do little videos, but I guess being a YouTube that's a video, program, a video platform, there's the only way I can do like a members only video is I make it unlisted and then just post it on the, on the uh, channel page for members only. I guess I could do that, but it's just, it's just quicker. Twitter's just quicker. Anyway, two ninety nine, super follow. I post behind the scenes stuff, extra photos, extra videos, that sort of thing over on my Twitter, uh, at Clintus. So I just put a video up for those guys. So, all right, here we go. Taste test should be cool enough. It's probably gonna still be pretty, pretty hot, but we're just gonna, we're gonna take a little sip. That is super smooth, super smooth. 
I definitely can taste more of like, I, I, I'm just gonna say it, I, I can taste more of a robust flavor. It's more of a robust flavor, but super smooth. I can taste the difference from, from the machine. Oh yeah. Damn. Who would have known just the process in which, I guess everyone knows that, Never mind. The process for everything is, it matters the most. This is a damn good cup, cup, cup of coffee. Thank you, Chopstick, I appreciate you, homie. I'm excited to try more coffee. Um, so this, this actually, this bean, the beans I'm using right now is the beans we use the majority of the time. Um, it's one of my favorite roasts from King's Coast. It's the Aztec Gold uh, from Mexico. Uh, that one and the Darkness blend are my two favorites. So these are both medium roasts. If you're looking for some coffee, you've been looked and tried uh, King's Coast and you're not sure which one to try, those are my two recommendations for medium roast. Now if you're looking for dark roast, uh, they don't have quite, they don't have a lot of them, but the one that I do like and do recommend is the Bayman blend, the Bayman's blend, uh, if you're looking for a dark roast. That's what I go for. Uh, kingscoastcoffee.com, link in the description, use code Clint to save and support your boy. But I actually have a couple other bags uh, of coffee that I, that I want. Tiffany does not like this, the last time we tried it. This is the um, Jamaica, Costa Rica um, rum barrel aged. You can actually smell the rum. Um, this is actually an old bag. I bought this last year and never used it because I never busted out the grinder and actually grinded it up. But anyway, now that I got my pour over, this is the next one I'm going for. Uh, my buddy Dave is jealous, I, I know, because he loves this coffee as well. Um, I also bought a bag of, and again, this is old. Um, this is from Costa Rica as well. This is from the estate collection. Um, I heard really good things about this. And I, I bought this and I never tried it. So look, I mean, look, July of 2021. It's over a year old. So it's not gonna be as good, but I, I paid for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it, dang it. 